Chapter 2. This chapter will show you what data we have in APE and what will be exported. Log into APE with your own credentials and with administrator privileges. On the persons page in this example we see two default cardholders, six project specific cardholders and two project specific visitors. Open the data dialog of any cardholder to see more details. The title field will not be exported. The last name, the first name, the date of birth and company fields will be exported, as well as the content of the valid from and valid to fields. The assigned personnel group and the unique personal number, the card number and customer code will be exported as well. Last, but not least, from this set of data the verification pin of the card holder will be part of the exported data. Moving to the Authorization tab, the assigned authorizations can be checked. Both the authorizations and authorization groups will be exported. After the successful import to AMS, the assigned authorization groups will be assigned to the cardholder. The content of the remark field will be the part of the exported data. The text from the memo field will not be exported. Now take a quick look at the persons and visitors. All of them have a photo, card and personnel number. Also the remark field contains text which is in this example was used to display job level of the cardholder. After this, it also makes sense to have a look at the authorizations and authorization groups. There are six authorizations and five authorization groups including the default one that is named as authorization. Last, check the personnel groups as well. Here are the default groups and the custom made VIP employees group. The difference between the default employees and the VIP employees groups is that the members of the VIP group will be excluded from random screening. The custom made VIP employee group together with assigned cardholders will be exported including the setting for random screening.